Hey, this is Patrick McKelman, and I need to build some top hive feeders. Uh, I really, this is not my ideal top hive feeder that I'm going to build. I really like the Man Lake uh, top hive feeder that holds about four gallons, uh, but unfortunately, they are fairly expensive, over twenty dollars a piece. And this spring, I'm going to do some flyback splits where I'm going to need uh, a lot more top hive feeders than I have. So I've decided to make uh, about twenty of them. And I wanted to go ahead and shoot a video while I was doing it and show you guys uh, how I do that. So I bought a four by eight sheet of half inch plywood sheathing. And that cuts up into 10 uh, of these boards. Um, this is a standard Langstroth hive cut. So the long side is 19 and 7 eighths inches and the short side is 16 and a quarter inches. That piece of sheathing cost me about $17. Of course, that price will vary. Uh, but so I got 10 cuts out of this. So I'm into this wood for about a dollar, about a dollar 70 um, a top hive feeder. Now I also use some uh, treated lattice. Uh, this stuff's pretty cheap. It's about a dollar and 39 cents, uh, an eight foot stick. And I cut this up and I'll show you how I put that on. Uh, also used in this is, uh, top eye feeder, I drill uh, two and three quarter inch holes uh, into my wood uh, for the insertion of these small um, lids with holes put in them. Now you can make these lids, but most of the beekeeping companies sell these for about a dollar a piece. I've actually kind of looked into it, and unless you're going to be you know, using several hundred of them, uh, really probably just a better idea to go and, and buy it from uh, one of the big beekeeping stores. Okay, I'm, since I'm going to make 20 of these, I'm actually going to go ahead and put my cutter on my drill press so I can just stamp these out. But there's really no reason why you can't just can't do this with, a, with your power drill at home uh, if you're only going to do a few. Uh, but since I'm going to do so, so many, I'm, I went ahead and put it up uh, again, put it on my... my um, drill press. So what I want to do is I want to cut four holes in this board. Now you can cut more than that if you wanted to, but if I'm going to put quart jars, uh, I can put four on them. That's going to hold a gallon of syrup at a time. And I have a lot of out yards. Uh, so I can put a gallon on there. I could actually probably fit about eight on here if I wanted and put two gallons. But, uh, but for, for our purposes, I'm just going to cut four of these right now. What you want to make sure you do when you're cutting these holes is you want to make sure that you that you allot for the size uh, and circumference of each jar and make sure that it fits on there as with the other jars and uh, far enough away from the corner and walls uh, of the hive box that's going to go over it. All right, I have my four holes drilled for my four one quart jars uh, to go in. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my, my lattice strips on here uh, to create a little bit of um, some room for the bees to come up above uh, and, and reach the lids. Arguably, I don't have to do that. Uh, there's probably enough room on the top of my hives anyway, uh, but I do it. Um, I think it gives them, I, I like for them to have a lot of room up there and they can all kind of cluster up there and take that, uh, take that syrup down quickly. Okay, so this is a standard one deep hive setup. Uh, this is what I'm going to have in the spring when I do my flyback splits and, and need to feed heavily uh, once I do those splits. So what I'll do is I'll take my top off uh, and I'll put on one of my top feeders uh, with four holes to adjust for four quarts, to accommodate four quarts. You see that I have this recessed side here that I made with a lattice. Uh, the holes that I drilled, I'll put that on top. I'll insert my jars full of syrup. I'll put 
put a high body on top of that and replace my top. And now I can feed a gallon at a time uh, with my cheap hive top feeder. Uh, so I think I have what I said about $1.70 uh, in the board, have um, less than a dollar, probably somewhere around closer to 50 cents in the lattice work uh, or in the lattice that goes uh, as the uh, spacer uh, and then call it a dollar a top on those tops. Uh, so you can see that's, that's, in, that's a top high feeder for fairly cheap, a one gallon top high feeder for fairly cheap. Uh, again, you can, you can easily drill eight holes in that and accommodate a uh, full two gallons uh, if you want to. Okay, if you like this video or if you'd like to see uh, more of these type videos, I plan on making several this spring, including uh, hopefully the one uh, where I do my flyback splits and, and actually deploy these, uh, these top five feeders. Thank you.